What's going on guys, Fish Games? It is my birthday, and I got myself the Monster Cards Challenge Rating 0 through 5. I'm pretty excited. Gonna be using these tonight. And uh yeah. Let's see what we got in here. Alright, we're continuing opening this uh monster cards challenge zero through five. And here we go. So when you receive these, um, I already took the liberty of basically cutting the plastic off and unboxing it. Um, but you're going to get three sets of monster cards. And each one of these are like a deck. They come in plastic and I just unraveled them all. So let's go through this one first. We'll go, we'll go through all of them just to kind of give you an idea of what you got. Um, so I'll give you some ideas and some things that we did too, but I really like the art that they used. Um, I know they used a lot of the art from the monster manual, but I, I really like these. <coughs> we also got the challenge from six to 20 as well. So it's pretty exciting being able to just use these whenever we want. And I'll give you guys an example of how I've been using them too in a second. So, I just wanted to show you guys at least a few of these. Hopefully, they're not all mixed up. But um, So, we got the Memphis, Dust, Ice, Magma. Uh, these are new. So, they're a little bit sticky. but um, Well, not sticky, but they're stuck together. Smoke, Memphis, Memphis, Steam, Merfolk. Okay, Marrow, Minotaur. I might miss a couple because they might be stuck to each other. Uh, these are all the drones. Look at that art though. Isn't that cool? The sprout. An adult. Bone Naga. These guys are always cool. So they use the same art for the spirit and the other one. But just to give you an idea, like this is the back of the Bone Naga. Um, I feel like 5th edition, the monsters are a little bit less crazy than like 3.5, so it's easy for them to fit like everything on these little cards like this. Nightmare, Nothic, these are getting a little crazy. So we got ogres, half ogres. Once I get through this uh, stack, I'll give you my example. Look at that Orc Warchief. Awesome. Orc Eye of Grumsh. Orog. So we got all the Orcs here. Owlbear. Pegasus. Piercer. Some Pixies. Quagroth. Some, okay, Young Remoras. This is always a fun one. We've got a whole bunch of Remoras. Uh, miniatures, so we like to use those. Fire snake, satyr. Okay, sprite, surge, troglodyte, a troll. What a weird. The zorn, wand teas are always fun. Zombies are probably like one of my favorite things. I'll show you guys uh, the zombie stat cards. But it's got everything. I mean, it's got all the stuff that you need. Oh, good, a zombie. All right, so that's the first stack. There's two more stacks. There's another stack that is the same uh, width as these. And then there's a stack with with uh, the really big ones. So we'll, we'll go through those last. Um, so what, what I did with my adventuring party... Uh, they're all level two right now. So they're in a dungeon. I've been using the reincarnated dungeon tiles to kind of do like this like Diablo style random kind of gameplay where like we just don't know what's going to happen. It's unplanned. It's just chaotic, but it's a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> so we've been using the reincarnated tiles to just make these random kind of things it's it reminds me a lot of like diablo if you've ever played diablo where like every map is just random and different 
Um, and so when it became time for them to do a fight, we took out uh, one of these. And they're only second level. So the this is challenge rating one through five. So there could be some there could be some pretty scary stuff in here that could kill the party. Um so we've only tested these out one time at the moment. Um but it was still it was still a lot of fun. Um so in these sections there's um the werewolves and stuff like that. So I, I gave them the deck, I kind of splayed it out, and they just picked a random thing. And it just so happened to be a dire uh, werebear. And I believe that's a challenge rating 5. Um, so right next to that was a dire um, a dire were rat. And that's that was a little bit more of a of less of a challenge for them. Because I think that werebear probably would have killed them. Um, it would it would have not been good. So that was just an example. There was they're in like this cavernous dungeon, which is just like really gross and nasty. And they just ended up fighting a whole bunch of were rats. And it was a lot of fun. It was exciting. It was random. Um, I have the magic item cards, like just like these, but the magic item cards. There's a uh, uh, I, I made a video about it as well if you want to check that out. So after they were done clearing these dungeons, I ended up giving them random loot too. And it was a lot of fun. Noel Packlord. Nice little art. Looks like kind of magic-y, I guess. Um, and then we got another Fang of Yenagog. Um, and the Deep Gnome. So that, that was their first fight. Their first fight was, was with the Were-Rat. And that was fun. And then they got further down into the dungeon. They did a couple things and they were exploring and having fun in this random, just completely random dungeon that we created. And all of a sudden, they had, <clears throat> it was time for them to fight another monster. There was a hallway and they could, they have a wolf so they can kind of like tell there was something coming up ahead. And we gave them the cards again and we said, pick a random card. And they just happened to pick the flame skull um and i will once we get to the flame skull if we didn't skip it or we find it already i'll sh can show you the stats for the flame skull uh this is in alphabetical order but knowing me i probably didn't put it back where it was supposed to go and the f for a second level party a flame skull could be really difficult i mean they have a fire ball they have just all kinds of crazy stuff um, but it was a challenging fight, and luckily nobody died. Um, the fireball hit the party, but they were able to make their saves. And, you know, it's just like, D&D &D really isn't the most fun if you know you're never going to die. And you know your D Dungeon Master is always going to save you. So most Dungeon Masters have a DM screen, and I don't even use a DM screen <clears throat> because... When I kill a party member or when something crazy happens, I want them to know that I did that with without cheating the dice or being easy or too hard on them. Uh, so this is the Wan T. We're going to go from the back because I like I, the text is and stuff is interesting, but I would rather show you guys the art because the art is decent. Like they did a good job on these. Um, so that was this, that was the situation with the flame skull and that was a lot of fun. Like they knew I didn't plan this fight. I, everybody knew what was going on and they survived. So they just survived a uh, flame skull is like a CR four challenge level four and their second level. So I rewarded them and we moved on. And then I did have some more stuff planned They They were fighting this guy named Tuck Tuck, this crazy like illusionist uh goblin king type dude so they went and found him further in the dungeon but these uh these random monster encounters really kind of made the caverns and everything a lot more fun um if you ever haven't ever used uh intellect devour those are pretty cool to to use as well um there is a jack aware and all these creatures um i know you guys are seeing the art but all these creatures are in the monster manual so if you see a card you've never seen before you're like oh that looks cool um look at the monster manual 
and they have all the the full stats uh, for all those cards as well. Oh, we got a were tiger, a werewolf. So this is where we hit before. They hit a a were bear, um, and I was like, okay, this is too hard. This is too hard of a fight for level two. I mean, this thing's got over a hundred hit points. It's like it's a big boy. Um, <clears throat> so right behind that, when they picked that, picked this. There was the were rat, and I was like, okay, this is more of a more of a fair fight. So, um, and then, well, I'll show you since we're talking about the the were were rat, I'll show you guys the stats. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The were rat was a lot of fun though. Um, there was a bunch of them. One came out of the water. One bursted out of a tunnel. One of them came out from like a ceiling almost. But it was it was a lot of fun just having them fight those were rats. If you want to pause the video, you can look at the stats for that. Um, but that was a lot of fun. They just started biting them. One of them actually, one of the party members actually got bit. Um, so that's not good. Um, but they were able to cure disease. So this is the flame skull. Uh, the other random thing that I at when I gave them the the cards that they chose, not on purpose. And as you can see, um, this flame skull is pretty difficult it's a it's a hard creature challenge for it's got a ton of experience but it it does a lot of stuff like if you look at their spell the spell casting abilities of this thing the fire rays and everything um like this could have tpk'd the whole party um but it only has 40 hit points so after the fireball went off it was able to get off a couple fire rays as well but the party just dispatched it pretty quickly but if uh, they didn't make their saves against the fireball, I did 30 damage for level 2. So once they made the saves, it was only 15 damage. Luckily, they were healed. And um, and nobody was taken out from the fireball. They all, they literally all passed their saves. I was very surprised. But that was just a lot of fun. It was just completely random. Um, the party had fun. They enjoyed it, even though they were very scared. And... Um, it was a great way to introduce these cards to my adventuring party, I'd say. Rug of, uh, can't really see, smothering. There we go. Rug of smothering. Okay. Oh, you know what I just realized? The fuck? Wow, these look so different. I really like that they they put the art on the cards for these specter and th that's always a cool thing too when they're fighting these creatures i could just easily show them what the creature looks like uh can be on oh, there's something behind it chol coaddle uh, but what i just realized is that the dragons are gonna should be in here too and the dragons i'm gonna have to cut this in half for a minute because some of these are stuck Let's break them up a little bit uh the dragons are gonna be a lot of fun to use the stat cards to, for as well dark mantle uh this is the bar lurker i'm not really sure if i'm pronouncing that right but that is the actual the the creature that is on the monster cards box so that's pretty dope um so if you don't want if you get these cards and you don't want to use my method which is a little bit chaotic but fun in in my opinion you can order all of these into challenge ratings of one, two, three, four, and five, and then you could do it that way. Like, um, if you're if your party's level one, have a whole stack of these cards that are just CR one, and have it fight that. Or you know, you just know what you're gonna be as a dungeon master. You're gonna know what you're gonna be using that game, and you could just simply take them out and put them to the side and it'll be all set up you don't have to flip through pages in your monster's manual i know it seems crazy but every little thing takes time in dungeons and dragons and anything i could do to make it a little bit easier make myself a little bit more prepared it's uh always beneficial dugar dugar one of my favorite uh races to have uh, people fight and I have tons of dwarf uh, miniatures so if you're playing in one of my games you'll probably be playing fighting some uh, some Dugar uh, whether it's online or whatever 
uh, air elementals, fire elementals, and water elementals. We just got a whole bunch of new elemental miniatures in. Uh, some lords and other things. And so that'd be cool. Now, I know we were just talking about the Dugar, but Drow are my personal, uh, my personal favorite uh, race in Dungeons and Dragons. When we, when we, whenever I'm a player character, I will always play as a Drow, uh, most likely. Fairy Dragon, Night Hag, unless I can't for some reason. There's been a couple times I played as like a like a High Elf or Sun Elf or something like that. <clears throat> Um, but most of the time dungeon masters are chill and they'll let me play as a drow just because I love like the idea around them and they have really good, uh, stats too, generally speaking. Um, being able to cast fairy fire and all kinds of things. Black pudding, another uh, miniature that we just got some gelatinous cube. We also got a, uh. A dragon blood oil type thing ooze which is gonna be interesting gray ooze and go you know, otuga so I haven't even really looked at these cards yet besides for using them in that one game um, so this is this has been in, enjoying being able to just look at the art and have some fun telling you guys about some of our games <clears throat> Rust Monster. These are always a nuisance. If you want to really make your party mad and destroy their, some of your friends' really good items, send some Rust Monsters off of them. Sagan Priestess. Also, did you ever give your party uh, some items you shouldn't have? Send them some Rust Monsters. Rust Monsters will always solve your issues. Sagan Priest. And, oh, that's backwards. Salamander. Scarecrow. Okay, Shadow. Shambling Mound. Red Slod. We did get some more Slods, too. Slads, Slods. <coughs> Succubus. Succubi. Umber Hulks, oh, you guys will probably always be fighting at least one Umber Hulk in my games, just because they're an awesome monster. We got some Vampire Spawns, some Whites. Usually, in most of my campaigns, I do some heavy undead type things, just because I really like uh, undead. So that White, we'll see plenty of play. We got a Wraith. Lord of the Rings style wraiths here. Uh, Yetis. We opened a whole bunch of Icewind Dale and Snowblind uh, Icons of the Realms miniatures. And we got a whole bunch of Yetis. So if you ever see snow in some of my D&D &D games, a Yeti is almost always going to be there. And I want T. Malison as well. Well, that wraps that up, guys, I think. Um, I guess maybe we have some more. Spider Devil. Imp. I may have barbed up Bearded Devil. Yeah, I think I went through all these already. I did. All right. I think, yeah, we got everything. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. We got some other cards and other stuff that we're going to be opening up and making videos for, trying to expand our Dungeons and Dragons content. If you guys enjoy these videos, please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, we do a decent amount of free giveaways on our channel, so another reason why you should subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified when we do some of these free giveaways. Generally, they're magic-related, um, Magic the Gathering, but we're going to be trying to do some more D&D type things as well in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.